Hello. Welcome back to the life of Duffelbag, Gerald Williams. He's an emaciated man, and no one understands him but his shovel. Gerald Williams, can you dig it? Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today we do some good farming. Are you ready to learn? Now we cannot know what hour the lark will first cry at dawn, nor whence the lion who spells swift death will roar and surrender her brood. But it is up to us in our time to decide where we distribute the seeds we chance upon in our days, carried out upon the soil, and which direction to look. Now every mind has its keeper, and every heart its own valentine. Only only the sage knows where the wind is going and for whom it is meant. I am very thirsty. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Do you wear glasses? Do you eat worms? Do you wear eye makeup? Apply. I don't know how this will help him. In fact, this will actually hurt him. I'm not going to wear these. I don't even really like the makeup. I don't like it at all. It looks dirty. It looks dirty. Goodbye. Goodbye. Today in Project Zomboid, we make efforts to get fat. Uh, previously, we were nearly degenerating. We were so underweight that we were nearly losing health. We're now emaciated. Great day. Great day for Gerald Williams. Today, we're planting all over the ground. Funny we should go down this road, now that you mention it. As a youth, I entertained ideas of living the monastic life. Something I'm sure all youths do at some point. It's only second to a monastic life to live an agrarian life. Sacred and humble. Beyond this, it seems that the seasonal temperatures are now rising and we can get some rainwater. So we might as well get some crops in the ground when we don't have to water. And wowzers, just like that, Bob's your uncle. We've now sown all of the seeds in this field. And although they're not doing so great right now, the rainwater should start to water them. Well done, well done, rain. Thank you. Well, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no rainstorm wet enough to keep the plants watered, Jesus. All right, uh, more watering ahead. More watering. That's fine. They're still parched, for Christ's sake. Okay, the rain is back. Wonderful. We'll just leave that as is. It almost made me forget that there is- There are actual weather systems simulated in Zomboid. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ah, the rustic life. I love it. Opening a gate. Closing a gate. Realizing that there's nothing in the field. Opening a gate again and closing it. Now, if you and me go together any further in this world, it's important to know a few things. I am very organized. Or, or I aim to be. I aim to be. I collect things. I'm very handy. I break things. Some consider me a man of... Some consider me a man... Violence. This is distinct from a violent man, though. My position is one of greater dignity, and though I'm often- I'm often driven to acts of violence. These are necessitated for a cause. Something greater. Something meaner. Something sharper. Something more fork. Some would consider it more fork. And I go by many names and epithets. Demon Slayer. Toucher. Stabbing guy. Hats. Cool guy. Cool man. Spear breaker. Thumb twiddler. Dead beater. And way maker. In all things, I achieve greatness and pointiness. I am powerful. Deadly. And holy cow, look, that is helmet. I have not seen a single helmet since I started, or a watch. That's bananas. I've killed over 500 zombies and I still haven't gotten a watch yet. This could be worthwhile. We need to tempt him. We got him. We got almost alone. So close. This'll take some kiting. And I still don't even have any spear skill. I got him. Yes. It is delayed, but that'll do it. That's another. And another, this is a great weapon, and I love it. And amazing, we have a motorcycle helmet now. Very good, very nice. You may not like the look of this as much, but it does have... It does have cool patterns, and not to mention great insulation and wind resistance. But it also makes us slower in combat as compared with... Kind of a trade-off here, really, both helmets are very good. I think that the crash helmet is a bit better, but... You know, this is new. I'll be a power range. The beard looks kind of strange with it, though. Oh, well. I'm still gonna do it. Spears truly are excellent things. They get off just the right amount of gore. On a similar topic, fences. This is great. Look at this. You can't do this with any other thing. It's very good. Good. This guy also had a spear in him. Thank you. Very good. Why was I not using this before? Clearly a much better weapon. And with less skill, we make more progress. Less tiring, more... More good. 
More good. Look at how many we just cleared off that road with barely even trying. I like it a lot. And it allows me. You know what it allows me to do is weaponize butter knives. This is good. It's good for everyone. Very pointy. And I'm now only very underweight. My character has gotten stronger, so... You see, here's the thing. Gerald Williams was actually much stronger than he seemed for this time. The fact of the matter... The fact of the matter was he was just very underweight. And as you may know, thin people... Thin people are weaker, objectively. It makes sense. It makes sense. So now, for the next few weeks, we can focus on getting extremely, absurdly, distastefully, deliciously, morbidly obese. I want to be morbidly obese. I, I would like to be morbidly obese. As you may know, as you may know, fat people are just happier. And even if that's not true, I want to find out if it is. So it's time to eat the rest of the cabbages. They will now actually make me depressed to eat them. But it won't be long before I'm happy again. Can I? Can I tell you a story? I'd like to tell you a story. I really like you. And we've spent so much time together. There was once an ugly man named Gerald Williams. He was so ugly that everyone died. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Can we just look back for a moment and appreciate everything that has happened to this character? This guy has gone from being- This guy has gone from a basket case to now killing over half a thousand zombies. He's gaining weight again and he'll- He'll be normal again in like a week. He has this beard. A pointy stick. And we now face the- we now face the existential crisis that I encounter every time I play Project Zomboid. See, the modern life is one of ennui, as I said before. And really, the only reason why we're in the world is just, you know, skill grinds. So these are the whole- these give life meaning. If we didn't have statistics, nothing would matter. So naturally, naturally, the next step is to just go ahead. I mean, I want to emphasize that if I die, if I die, it will still be- I am good at this game. I am- no one can tell me otherwise. I am great at it. I fucking- I'm terrible at this. <laughs> But, but, what skills to train? You know, a few years ago I got pretty dejected with life because I didn't know what to do with my life. So I read a book by Viktor Frankl called Man's Search for Meaning. In it, he describes how you shouldn't ask what is the meaning of life each day, but what is life asking of me each day? Today, the way is forward. If I want to move more ground, I need to poke people. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do something I have to do. You see, every, every zombie has shit loot right now. And if I want to make much progress at all. I'm gonna need an ass ton of spear skill. So I'm just gonna- I'm going to count how many it takes for me to get good with this. I'd like to emphasize that this is just a shitload of grinding, and the best thing I can do is count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Machete! A machete. A machete. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sunglasses. Finally cool. 17, 18, Hunter Magazine. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ah, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 30, 34, 35, 36. Seed bag, guitar case, fishing, depression ending. I'm happier again. They're coming. Come on. Come on. Oh, this works now. I don't know that this worked. This is amazing. That's like 40 right there. That's so good. And wowzers, I didn't realize that this game was so much easier with a spear. Life ch life life changing. Well, let's just do that forever. Yep, this is going to be the way I do it from now on. Just stand next to a window. Oh, this is so much more powerful. Until they do that. Moldra- I found a map of Moldra. That took forever. I'd say that's about 50 zombies now. That's been a while. And I think I may have found a no shit foolproof way to not get hurt. This is awesome. I mean, until they surround me. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I think that's enough. 
Now then. Ooh, double. Uh, this was a nice find. Double holster from a police. Ah, uh, it beats my one holster. Oh, come on. So many more. But we found a lot of junk out there. And with that, we retire to bed for the night and wake up to eat rotten cabbages. It'll make me upset, but it'll make me much fatter. Do you want to see a magic trick? Holy crap. This one has an M1911. I still haven't found a single watch. Until now, I'd never had much success with spears. But as it turns out, these things are extremely, absurdly overpowered. And it looks like we've chanced upon some half-decent loot for once. We might have even found safety. A satchel. And that's actually it for this house. Wow. Oh, that was terrible. And every day, more zombies replenish the area. We still have knowledge, and now 671 zombie kills. But we're gonna need more if we really want to survive. And not just survive, but live. I think we can leave it there for one day. Just one last thing to do is get spear level 2. But we're getting to that time of series where I just need to find more stat grinds. I used to find exploits like this with the Worm Man series and I would push trees for days, but some of those have been changed during the game since last year, so. Anyway, wherever there is a game, there's always exploits, so. I think we'll leave it for there. I'm gonna leave it here because, god, the fog is just so gorgeous. This didn't used to be a thing. I just, I can't get over how good it looks. It looks so good. So on that note, I think we'll leave it there for today. My plants are flourishing. I am getting colder and fatter. And overall, this is a pretty good life for Gerald Williams. As always, major thanks to the AA support group. God bless you. God bless you. None of this philosophy would be possible without you, so God bless. Thanks to all of them for that. And thanks to you. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Water your plants so they grow tall and strong. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye Who's the king of the Danes? Gerald Williams. Who's the one that... That's not really the right tone with which to approach this. Let's begin somewhere, uh... Let's begin somewhere more calm.